Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, Market Outlook time. Let's take a look at this week of Bundesliga Team of the Season and talk about what we can expect because it like just like last week with La Liga, we are going to have a pretty exciting week of content. It was a huge day yesterday with upgrade SBCs, the Waman SBC, arguably one of the most hyped SBCs we have seen during Team of the Season in terms of a card that we most of the FIFA community wanted to see. And of course, the upgrade packs and more Icon Moments player SBCs as well. I want to talk about what could be coming today on Monday and of course, through the rest of this week with this market. Again, the market is just down bad, right? When this content is this good, people are draining their coins trying to pack these players. They're doing the upgrade packs. 81 plus player picks are out. That is a FIFA favorite upgrade pack. There's the 81 plus Bundesliga players and tradable. The counter has gone up too because I packed Hummels and Baku tonight uh, from upgrade packs and the 85 uh, plus pick from the Bundesliga. So the content's rolling in this week and I think it's going to be very similar to last week in terms of a lot of player SBCs, a lot of content in terms of, you know, those upgrade packs like an 85 plus player pick like we had yesterday. We had that five times 83 plus in the code from earlier this last week for the Bundesliga. I think that's an SBC that we'll see maybe today on Monday and once, not if, or maybe even twice uh, in total this entire week. So I want to talk about that. The only thing we don't have right now in this game that um, I'm expecting to come out later this week is some sort of like repeatable icon SBC as well. Um, depending on what that SBC is going to be, maybe a player pick, that could have more market implications as well. So Again, yesterday on Sunday, we had a ton of content and that really made the market drop off a lot. And uh, as people are finishing their weekend league as well, you've got a lot of stuff that is falling. Also, currently when I'm recording this, I'm a couple hours after Squad Battle Rewards. And one thing that we've talked about a little bit yesterday at the very end of the video um, was that Squad Battle Rewards was really going to hit the market today. And it's absolutely doing that. A lot of these cards have dropped off big in price. They're getting supplied because everybody that played Icon Swap Squad Battles last week at the beginning of the week uh, had packs today. So that supplied the market a decent amount. And these Team of the Season cards from the Bundesliga have really, really dropped off. Alfonso Davies was like 560K, um, you know, earlier in the day on Sunday. He dropped off throughout the day, but he's down about you know, 30K since rewards. Lewandowski was actually at 2.08 mil for a hot second. I watched the card hoping for an undercut and it did not get undercut. But list Lewandowski cards at 2.1 mil. Sancho is down. Goretzka is down. A lot of these cards are down on the market right now because people are packing them, right? They're getting supplied. These cards are still very rare, but they're getting really, really cheap. And we've seen them fluctuate a lot in the past couple days, especially with the Waman SBC being out. It makes it very interesting because I'm actually going to start to maybe look into a few of these guys for potential rises into the morning because a guy like Holland was up so, so much yesterday with just the hype and the links that this guy has, uh, you know, to the, the, the new SBC that was out with the Waman, which so many people did, so many upvotes on Flippin. So I do think some of these cards, although they are going to get cheaper later on this week, there might be a slight fluctuation up into the day today on Monday. That's just potential though, because again, I feel like this market is in the same place as it was last week. So a move like that would be a little bit risky. And again, this just this market is in a place where everybody's just doing SBCs, right? It's all about the SBC content with Lazaro, Tapsoba, Waman, uh, you know, the Douglas Costa that is out as well, and then the objectives and people grind their icon swaps. Still, this this market is still there's not a lot of buying power, right? People are just submitting everything into the SBCs. Now, yesterday we talked about potentially buying into some fodder. Um, and of course, with the Waman SBC, that stuff exploded today. Now, again, it's come down with squad battle rewards. Um, I want to see the 83s. How much are 83s? Like 2K. So they're not really down that much. They're still a little bit inflated. Gold informs are kind of back down though. And this is just an area where some of the stuff went up right away when more SBCs came out. I still think this is an area where you can, you know, pick one up, store it in the club. Not like an investment to go unassigned on this week. But if we continue to get good SBC content like we have, player SBCs every day. If we get icon SBCs, like an icon upgrade repeatable type thing, or even if it's a one-time moments icon pack, people are going to get involved in that. And that's probably going to require some informs or have a team of the season or inform requirements. So, you know, 86 rated cards, 18K on bid, and then discard basically for the 84s uh, is kind of a place where I would look right now if you want to make some sort of like fodder investment. Now, the rest of the fodder market is, is up. 
uh, maybe down a little bit from where it was. You got 86s at 20K. I mean, last week they, were, they hit like almost 30K by the end of the week. So if you want to take a little bit of a risk, you can in a sense, because I do th think that some of the stuff could go higher if we do get an icon pack like we had last week. And if we have more big time SBCs, and now as of right now, I, I started, you know, we did a couple upgrades today on stream. And yes, I did pack homos from one of them, but it seems like the upgrade packs do not give out yet. So I didn't really put too many coins into these this week. I'm going to wait and see if I have better luck as we move on throughout the week. But I just know that people are going to be submitting even more and more coins into this. And it's specifically like an SBC like Waman too, right? I mean, you can see on the market right now, people have done the Tap Soba. People have done the Lazaro because right backs, center backs, and all defenders in this game are going down. You have Bundesliga center backs and other cards people are using to link with these two SBCs. And especially now with Waman, uh, those stuff, that stuff is kind of going up, right? You got Mbabu's What If card. That guy is on the rise, um, which actually I bought one of those and it's not showing on my transfer list. Did I send him to the club? I bought an Mbappe. Okay, there it is. He was not showing on my transfer list for like the longest time. Uh, but I bought this guy for 200,000 coins tonight because he was like 220 earlier in the day on Sunday. Uh, just with people, you know, some people are saying this card is even better than, than the SBC that we had for Lazaro. Uh, so that's why I picked him up today on a, under, on a little bit of a snipe at 200K. He's right now at 208. So if you see this get around the 200K range, that for me is kind of a deal. I still have some man of the match Contes. I got a 210 and 215. The hype's died a little bit on him. So I'm just going to ride that one out because it's a rare man of the match card, French links, uh, and, and he's out of packs now too. So again, Really, the story for the market this week is probably going to be more coin drain. And if you guys remember last week on Sunday, I actually went out and bought cards. I went out and since we had all this panic selling on, on all the other team of the season cards, uh, I bought like foot birthdays, I think, um, and, and some stuff like that. And, uh, and I lost a lot of coins because what I did was I bought on Sunday night because I wasn't expecting the insane SBC content to continue throughout the week. And every single day, stuff just went lower and lower and lower and that could be exactly what happens this week too so i'm probably going to be staying pretty liquid just kind of you know dipping in and out of some things um but it's also going to be a good week to trade it really is going to be a good week to trade because these cards are just i mean jordi alba was just on a flip in at three hundred and fifty five thousand coins literally just a weekend not less than over the weekend like thursday night this guy was 500k and now he's down to 370. So some of these cards have gotten really, really low. They're great to fluctuation trade with. I mean, you look at this Alba right now. There's a card at, you know, there was that card at 368. And then he had a card at 390. 368, 370, and, and 389. So this stuff is rare and it fluctuates around a lot. So that's going to be a recipe for some really good profits later on this week, I think. And throughout the week, if you are trying to trade and make coins. But Again, the name of the game this week is going to be EA Sports content. It's going to be SBC fodder and um, upgrade packs, right? Trying to get the blue counter up if you're into ripping some of that stuff. Uh, and if you're looking to buy any of these Bundesliga special cards, again, I think that time frame, just to kind of go from a high level conversation here, I think the time frame for these guards is probably going to be that Thursday area when we have that Bundesliga guaranteed TOTS SBC, because especially if those upgrade packs are out. They're going to keep dipping until we get towards Wednesday, towards rewards. Uh, you know, I don't think Goretzka, Sancho, and Lewandowski have potential to supply a lot of coins on the market this week from like tradable elite rewards. But I think Lewandowski is going to drop off a lot. Sancho is going to drop off some. And then Goretzka is going to drop off a decent amount as well. So that's kind of what I'm expecting is to see these guys continue to slide off into the midweek for sure across the whole Bundesliga Tots team, in my opinion. Now, one other thing that we are seeing actually today on Monday is the Super League Tots. Super League team of the season. There's a loading screen for it right now. That's going to be out today. Uh, basically, EA, I mean, we can see this coming, right? There's going to be some Portuguese players in this team. Next week, we have Serie A. That's going to be coming out on Friday. They're already setting us up, right? They're going to be setting us up for the trolls. By the way, EA, your loading screen is kind of glitched out here. Uh, the text is off to the side. Anyways, um, Portuguese trolls for Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, you know it's coming. So just be ready for that. We'll see how many Portuguese cards are going to be in the team today with that Liga Nos side. Also, day one for Liga Nos, usually uh, for the secondary TOTS leagues, we usually see a player SBC from that league. So, you know, just throwing something out there. Maybe watch if it's a Portuguese player, if it's a really, really hype card. Um, you know, Portuguese icons. That's one area that I want to talk about a little bit this week is your icons because, Again, as we move throughout team of the season, people are using icons. Uh, as you can see, I've traded with some. 
people are using these cards to link together in teams uh, and to, you know, put cards that they've packed untradeable together with chemistry because of course these 1.06 for this is done wow uh these cards obviously are very very helpful for linking things together in fifa so that's one thing that i wanted to talk about a lot of these guys are just down they're down so bad but again they're so rare too not just even the out of packs ones that are like the the babies and the middles these guys are stupid rare but some of the primes and some of the moments cards are actually really really rare as well so that's just something to keep an eye on today and throughout this week, whether it's something that you want to trade with or just something that you want to do for like a Thursday flipping investment, you know, so that's one thing I want to talk about. Now, content wise throughout the rest of this week, probably play SBCs just about every day. Again, I, I mentioned like an icon upgrade pack. That could be something that comes today on Monday or tomorrow on Tuesday. Kind of the normal schedule for the guaranteed TOTS packs. I would expect to see the Liga Nos TOTS pack guaranteed on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, the guaranteed Bundesliga TOTS pack. Uh, and then I do think it's going to be Thursday this week is when they release this stuff. Um, player of the month for the League One, which could potentially be a Ben Yetter, could be coming out in the next couple days this week. That's, I think, our last player of the month since we're in the middle of the month now that we haven't seen yet because, of course, we have the Jesse Lingard uh, and we've got the Fernando and we have the Holland. So I think we are due for the next player of the month this week, and that's probably going to be Ben Yetter. But we all know how League One player of the month is. It's all over the place. It's like random. So that's one thing I'm expecting to see on this game as well. And then we get to Thursday and Rewards Day. You're probably going to have a decent bit of a market rise in some areas. Now, I will say this. Serie A is the next team of the season side to be released, right? Now, if we go into for champions, I'm going to show you the schedule. Uh, I got my normal silver one finished, as you can see. Uh, ultimate Serie A team of the season. That is the next league. So, Thursday, potential loading screen, of course. Potential information on that. If you want to buy cards that, like, special cards from the Serie A, which is going to be a good investment, I think, because um, there's, you know, there's some players in the Serie A that are really cheap right now in this game, they're going to have very, very good links to TOTS cards or to past cards that have been out in this game. Um, I think this Yvonne Perisic card is going to be a smacking buy uh, leading up to the team of the season for Serie A because of his nice green link to Foot Birthday Vidal, which is an SBC player that a lot of people still have in their teams. And he's going to kind of come back to the surface this next week during Serie A. So if you want to get in on some Serie A special card investments, I would say that the best time to get involved with some of those, uh, let's say you're looking at like full birthday cards like this Perisic or a Tamori, you know, some cards like that that still provide some English, even Bernardeschi, like 26K for Piemonte Calcio links, Italian links, and this card's five star, five star. Like this could be a card kind of like Ginter from this, or Gunter from last week during Bundesliga that got really bought up heading into Serie A team of the season uh, that you can make some coins on as well if you get in early enough. So some of these Serie A link investments, I think, will be an interesting watch this week. And wow, Mendy is very low. That's crazy. Um, some of those cards are probably going to be at their lowest on Wednesday before rewards because that's kind of a little bit before when people start to think about them. So regardless if it's a card who's going to get into team of the season, like maybe Mertens get to tots, uh, just look at some of the meta Serie A cards. Especially like Smalling, uh, I think this card's under the radar right now. Very good card. I know it's only 83 pace, but 177k with English links. There's potential there uh, for some of that stuff. So just kind of look around with your Serie A, like Kulusevsky as well. The Future Stars card, that could be one that has some pretty good hype today, uh, this next week with his the Swedish links. If Zlatan would get a tot, Tots, as well as the Piemonte Calcio links. And this card would, had a lot of hype earlier on in the year for being very, very good. So kind of keep an eye on a card like that as well. But yeah, that's kind of just, just what's going on this week. It's going to be very similar to last week. I don't know if you guys... I don't know how you're feeling about the game right now. If you're feeling like bored, if you're not really wanting to grind, I think a lot of people are probably even starting to tail off the game because we have all these tot squads coming out. Yes, the content is good. Yes, the content is fun, but also um, people have full sent their clubs into untradeables. They've done player picks. They have done all this stuff, and now they don't have any coins. Two point one flat for Lewandowski. Brand new, fresh pack pulled from Squad Battle Rewards. Unbelievable. Uh, so I, I think that's maybe even driving a little bit of people off the game. So hopefully, uh, I know we have icon swaps that are out. People are kind of grinding some of that. There's plenty of objective players, uh, but I feel like this game is kind of trickling downwards too. And this Bundesliga toss is, in my opinion, like 
as a whole, probably like the second least hype, like next week with Serie A might be the least hype week of TOTS, you know, depending on the content that comes out. So at least we're getting good SBCs and that that's just new stuff that's come out in the game that we can kind of react to and the market reacts to as well. So if we're still trying to make coins and do a lot of that stuff, a lot of that is going on. So this week in FIFA, I think it's going to be a pretty hype week. Again, with all this content that we're seeing, they give us the Waman SBC, um, the Tap Soba with a really cracked out card. We've gotten two right, a right wing SBC, a center attacking mid, a right mid, center back, right back. I feel like we're due a striker SBC. I don't know what striker they would do from the Bundesliga. There's probably a lot of options they could do. If, of course, a flashback piece check has been in, in talks. That's been some people have been talking about. Probably SBCs like that continuing to come out this week as well. And that'd be pretty hype, right? That'd be pretty stinking hype. So again, that's kind of the week on FIFA this week, to be completely honest. I'm going to be staying pretty liquid in terms of my coins, and I'm going to be flipping cards, right? Flipping some of these TOTS cards, getting on the bids, and especially some of these icons as well, because they're going to continue to fluctuate. If there is really good content every single day, you'll see a little bit of panic selling and then maybe a rebound and stuff gets rare. And that's specifically a place to go with the icon. So I think the icons are probably where I'm going to spend a lot of time this week. And, you know, just out of pack specials in general, uh, I'm going to have a video coming out later this week about, you know, making, making coins in the second half of the year on FIFA, because I think that's a conversation that, you know, for you guys that are watching these videos right now and you're grinding the game, um, you want you might want some information and want to know on you know how is the best way to make coins right now because i think in the second half of the year it's an incredible time to make coins i mean you see me trade up from around the team of the, after team of the year which was the beginning of february all the way until right before team of the season up to almost seven and a half eight million coins in total uh, coming from about 1.5 mil all the way up to almost 8 mil uh, in a short amount of time. So, I mean, it's a great time of trading. So I want to talk about that a little bit too. And again, just, just wanting to recognize that like how bad this market has crashed, just kind of showing just the hype levels in the game and what everybody has their focus on right now, that Alba 360. I'm going to have to go buy one of those because that's too cheap. Um, Messi's 3.3 mil after being a 4 mil card last week. You look at the Premier League Tots cards, 1.25 Kane is 285, uh, Bruno is 2.1. And a lot of people are asking, yo, are these cards going to rebound back? And my answer to that is, you know, not really. I don't think a lot of these cards are going to rebound back to what they were. Uh, you know, 525 for Juan Basaka, excuse me? <laughs> what? I mean, this guy was 900K literally 11 days ago. 11 days ago, he was 900,000 coins. And uh, now he is down. He's down bad, right? He was actually 500K. Uh, so he, oh shoot, he was 479. So he's actually come back up a little bit. I had him confused there at the price for a second. Uh, and that's kind of the fluctuation trading that you could be doing this weekend too. And Don Blay at 200, he wasn't ever under 100K yesterday, was he? Or under 200K? He was 199. So we just kind of been chilling 198 up to 205. So he's actually rebounded back a little bit. And, uh, you know, we can sell off kind of ending some of the stuff kind of bouncing back. Watch your Bundesliga specials still. Um, because depending on the cards that come out this week, those could still kind of rise into Thursday. People are going to be buying up those cards for a rewards rise. Some of those cards could do well. Some of them, again, just like with La Liga, some will do well. Some will not do well. So we'll talk about that throughout the rest of this week as well in terms of which of those cards could be investable or tradable and that sort of stuff. So again... Another week on FIFA, another week of team of the season. The content's looking very good, which is going to be hype. There's going to be a lot to talk about, and hopefully we can pack some big boy blues, right? I would love to stick a Sancho, a Goretzka, a Lewandowski uh, in the team, of course. I'm sure as a lot of you guys would as well. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, man. Another week of team of the season. I hope it's hype. I hope the content continues. It looks like we've got the good SBC guy uh, doing the content right now inside of FIFA, which is pretty dope. But if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.